Hi everyone, welcome on board. This is Anisha here and welcome to the Cat Kings and Math series. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the quants section syllabus. A lot of you guys keep asking what topics can I leave, what modules should I do more focus on. So please make sure you watch the video right till the end so that you understand what to leave, what not to leave and what we should focus most on. Okay. So in math, if you guys remember the paper pattern, it's got three sections, 36 questions in each, which makes it 108 questions overall. Time management is different for each of the sections. So if you look at the quants and data interpretation section, you have 36 questions, 52 minutes time. So you have essentially near about one and a half minute per question. But now how and what type of questions come, that is very important. So if you look at your official guide, that's the best guidelines to give you and define your syllabus. So NMAT, Quants and DI section has got five modules. One, which is your data interpretation and data sufficiency. Here we get questions of the following topics. You can check it out. Data interpretation tables, caselets, bar graph, line graph, pie charts, mixed graph questions and data sufficiency questions. Out of all of these things, data sufficiency is something which is pretty new because you don't study this in CAT preparation. Okay. Now, what is different as compared to CAT and this DI? One, you can expect a very high or you can say calculation intensive DI sets where the answer values are so close to each other that your approximation techniques will not work. That is for your time management. So you have to be quick in your calculations. The number of questions which you can expect is 12 to 16 questions. Since it's adaptive, it will vary based on how you have been performing. But more or less three to four sets of DI, everybody gets it. Okay, so that's about the first module, which is your data interpretation and data sufficiency. In quants, now we have got four modules. Let me tell you guys based on the importance level, right? First and foremost is your arithmetic module, where you can expect 9 to 10 questions out of 36 questions coming in from arithmetic. Arithmetic includes all the topics right from the basics like percentages, averages, ratios, mixtures and allegations, time speed distance, time speed distance ke sari variety of questions also like circular tracks, boats and streams can come in. Simple and compound interest, discounts, profit and loss, all of these things. Application-based questions of concepts of percentages and averages in the form of word problems, we can get them. Time and work and application of time and work in pipes and cisterns, heights and distance, all of these kind of questions. This by far is the most important module for sure for NMAT. But it's with a catch. It's an adaptive exam. Maybe you get nine questions, your friend gets in three questions based on how they have been answering questions, right? So that number of questions always take it with a pinch of salt at maximum weightage for sure is there for arithmetic. Second most important module for us is your algebra module where you get questions of equations which could be linear equations, quadratic equations, special equations, inequalities, indices, functions then your sequence and series which is arithmetic progression geometric progression harmonic progression okay then we get a few questions coming in from probability out of pnc and probability probability ke questions thode zyada aate hain but again wo vary karta hai so you make sure you're studying pnc and probability for sure number properties make you get questions based on numbers and remainder theorem so n math does not give you a calculator so remainder theorem questions are more prone to come in as compared to cat because cat may calculator hai toh quick ho jata hai here no calculator so if i were to give you an importance arithmetic 9 to 10 questions algebra 5 to 6 questions Geomet uh, geometry hai hi nahi so that's the biggest advantage no geometry no mensuration coming for us then you have pnc and probability which is essentially a modern maths three to five questions numbers three to five questions certain things which do not come in quants but that's like your set theory based questions but whole logical reasoning ke section mein aa sakte hain so you should study set theory as well also okay so this is what is your nmat quants syllabus i hope all of you guys have made note of all the topics and the expected questions Ideally, out of 36, you should aim for 30 correct questions. Your target should be to get an 80 plus score so that 
for sure you are clearing the sectional cutoffs come what may because nmms has definitely got sectional cutoffs okay i hope all of you guys have now got a clarity about what is the nmat quants and di syllabus now let's talk about how to prepare them right so make sure you guys are watching all the launchpad videos from the cat kings dashboard solve the lod1 ebooks and with that make sure the nmat jetpack is done completely which includes official guide videos shortcut videos in mat maximizer ebooks and giving sectional tests while you will be giving your full length mocks you should give sectional tests also to get your time management strategy sorted so the sectional tests also you will have a combination of adaptive and non adaptive mocks the objective is adaptive mocks will give you questions based on your capability non adaptive mocks will help you understand and evaluate your threshold what is super difficult difficult in your perspective so you know where and what you need to study more and make sure you do not skip the nmat saturday boot camp sessions and the nmat daily which starts from 30th september onwards all right stay tuned to the channel if you guys have any other doubts or questions drop in the comment section and i shall take them up for you all the best take care